Welcome back, amigos, to part two of this NFT sports collectible card. We're gonna jump right in, and if you wanna download the project files, click on the link in the description. Remember that life is truly a gift, make it count. For part two of this NFT series, for this one, we'll create text, a background, and a very simple camera movement. Let's go ahead and create a new composition to create the text. And let's go to preset, choose HD TV 1080 29.97. And let's call it text and hit okay. Let's go to the text tool and type in the name of the athlete. I'll type in Dan Marino. Let's go to the align panel and make sure that it's right in the center. Let's go back to character. I'm using the market deco font and these are the settings that I'm using. And this is the fill color and there is no stroke. Okay, let's create a simple animation for the text. To do that, let's drill down, go to animate and choose position. Let's go back and let's add scale. Let's add opacity. For position for the Y value, let's make it 100. For the initial scale, let's make it zero and the opacity zero as well. Now let's go down to the range selector and make sure that your CTI is at the beginning and let's work with the offset. Click on the stopwatch, make it minus 100 and let's move forward to 115. Let's make this 100% and let's check it out. Okay, it doesn't look good, but what we'll do is we'll go to advanced. Let's go to shape. Let's make it ramp up. And for ease low, let's make it 100% and let's check it out. Much better. Okay, now let's add an effect. Go to effect, distort, go to warp. And let's switch it to rise and let's make it 15. And let's check it out. Nice. And we can move this, hit P for position and let's move it higher. Let's move it here. Okay, now let's go back to NFT and let's bring in this text. Let's make it a 3D layer. Let's switch our layout to two views. And this one is our top view. This is our active camera. And what we'll do is let's push it forward, hit P for position and make it minus 500. And we can push it down. We can scale it up S for scale. Make it 125. Now, what we'll do is we'll make it 3D, but we'll fake the 3D by adding several layers back in Z space. And to do that, let me show you how to do that. Very simple. Select the text comp, control D, command D to make a copy. And this one, call it text copy. And in this copy, let's add an effect. Go to generate fill and let's change the color. There we go, this is a good color. And what we'll do is we'll move it back in Z space, not that much, anywhere between five to 10 pixels. So this is at minus 500 for the Z. We'll make this minus 495. And let's make another copy. And this one, let's make it minus 490. Another copy, control D. This one will be minus 485. Another copy. And this one, make it minus 480. And one last copy. And this one, make it minus 475. If I zoom in from the top, you can see we have all these different copies. And we'll select these copies. And using the pick whip, let's parent it to our main text. And let's switch it to one view. And let's orbit so we can see it. And you can see that it looks 3D, but we're faking this 3D. What we can do is for the very first copy, select it, let's add a glow, go to stylize glow. And for the radius, let's bump it up to 75. And let's check it out. Perfect. Okay, let's add a background. And to add a background, hit Control Y, Command Y to make a solid layer. Make comp size 
and let's bring it all the way down and let's label it BG and let's add a gradient. Go to generate gradient ramp. And what I'll do is feel free to choose the colors that you want. I want to make it these colors, but I'll switch it to radial. And this point, I'll move this point here. And let's add lines. To add lines, we'll create a shape layer. Make sure that all your layers in your timeline are deselected. Hit Control Shift A, or you can simply click outside. Now let's go up to the rectangle tool and double click to create a shape layer. And let's drill down to the path one. Let's unlink it and let's make it 10. So we have a nice thin line. And what we'll do is select rectangle one. Let's add a repeater. And let's go down and let's make 70 copies and let's go down to the transform and all these copies are now on top of each other. So what we'll do is we'll make it zero for the X and we'll make it 20 for the Y. And what we can do is hit P for position. Let's move it up on the Y axis. And we can call this lines. Let's put it on top of the BG T for opacity. Let's bring the opacity down to seven and let's add some grunge. Let's go ahead and go to this image and let's bring it in. Let's scale it down to about 50 or so. And let's leave it right here. Let's make it a high contrast. Go to effect color correction. Let's go to black and white. Make sure that it's in black and white. And then let's go to levels and let's crush the colors, the blacks and the whites, so we can make it a high contrast. And what we'll do is let's rotate it 90 degrees and let's scale it to 50%. And let's invert the channels. And now we can switch the blending mode to add. And let's call this grunge. Hit T for opacity, bump it down to 20. Let's create a camera, go to layer, new camera, choose the 50 millimeter preset. And what we'll do is go to layer, camera, create orbit null. Go back to the camera, hit P for position, and let's move this back, this camera back to about minus 3,800. Go to the orbit null, hit R for rotation and move the CTI to the beginning. And what we can do is we can rotate this on the X and the Y. Let's put some keyframes. Let's go to five seconds. Let's go in the opposite direction. And then we can copy this, these first two keyframes, Control C, Command C, and let's paste it. And let's select these keyframes and F9 for easy ease. And let's check it out. The last step is to add the name of the team very subtle in the background. Let's go to the text tool and I'll type in Miami Dolphins. And let's solo this layer. And what we'll do is go to layer, go down to create, create shapes from text. And we can delete the text and it created shape layers from our text. And let's drill down. And what we'll do is go to contents. Let's add a group and let's make this for Miami and let's add another group. This one will be for dolphins. Let's grab all of the Miami letters and put it in the Miami folder. Same thing with dolphins and let's go to dolphins. Now go to contents and what we'll do is we'll add a repeater. Go to repeater. Let's make 13 copies and let's go down to transform for the repeater and for the X for the position zero 175 for the Y value. Now what we'll do is let's scale it down to 50 and let's move this up here. We can change the color to white. Let's make a copy, control D or command D. 
And the first one will be only for the Miami text. And what we'll do is let's drill down to contents and let's delete the Dolphins folder. And for the second one, that will be the Dolphins only. And let's drill down to the contents and delete the Miami folder. If we solo each one, this is what we have. Now for Dolphins, let's take out the fill and let's give it a stroke of about eight pixels. And what we can do is we can animate this. Let's go ahead and hit P for position. What I'll do is let's separate the dimensions. You right click, separate dimensions, and let's just animate the Y position. So for Miami, let's add a keyframe here at zero. And actually let's move this up a little bit. Let's go all the way to 10 and let's move this down like this. And then for dolphins, let's go to the Y position, click on the stopwatch and let's do the opposite. It's going up. So we have this little motion like this. This may be a little too much. Let's check it out. Okay, this looks good. You can tweak it. I'm gonna leave it like this for now. What we'll do is hit T for opacity. Let's bring it down to about 15% and let's make another copy, Control D, Command D. And what we'll do is let's move it over in the X. Let's place it here on this side, on the right side. And what we can do is all these layers, put it right above the grunge. Let's unsolo it. And you see the grunge might be a little too much. So let's drop down the grunge to maybe about 10. And there you go. Let's check it out. Amigos, thank you so much for watching this NFT sports collectible tutorial series. Hopefully it gives you a lot of ideas to what you can do for your very own NFT. And remember that life is truly a gift make it count.